Hey everybody, and a welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is Naboo Otto Gunga. When I saw footage of this map, I could not believe my eyes. This is a map based on the main capital of the Gungans on Naboo. And the footage that I saw looked so good, so realistic, and from the movie, that I was absolutely flabbergasted. Now, the origins of this map are apparently from Battlefront 1, uh, and then they got ported to Battlefront 2 via a map pack, and then only recently it got presented as a standalone uh, map. One of the reasons why I think this is so special and is, is cool, because uh, even though, uh, you know, say what you will about the Gungans being not cool or whatever, I do absolutely love the look of their city. It really reminds me of Dinotopia uh, 2 with the Undersea uh, world. If you know the books of Dinotopia, you are a god. Uh, anyway, uh, not only that, it also... I have very keen uh, memories of the Otto Gunga level in the original Star Wars Episode 1 video game back for PC and PlayStation 1. Um, and also with uh, with Menowar Assault Squad 2, the Galactic Conquest um, mod, I uh, I talked to a buddy of mine, Mighty Mapper 123, who you might also know uh, if you are into some Star Wars stuff. He uh, he makes a lot of maps for that game, and he asked me once like, what kind of like map you know would I would like to see for maybe a series like Star Wars Factions, and you know I could name every everything, and I said I would be really impressed if you could be able to make you know, the inner city of the Gungans. Just because that would be so impressive and there would be no, like, assets for it. And just seeing this in a game like Battlefront 2 is absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, it looks so good. All the the doors work as expected. You can even look outside with the, with the bottom. They have actually different rooms. It's not all um, the same room over and over again. There's, for example, uh, a room I saw with the... Uh, the Bungles, the Bungo Riders. So we'll actually get a closer look at all of the different rooms. Republic is in control of a command post. Now, enough with the um, Our reinforcements are being depleted. Oracle and um, mesmerizing about this map because not too long after I was done oogling at this map and just, you know, being extremely impressed with how it looks. I started to notice something that got me a little bit worried. And you might notice it too from this footage. And that is that even though it looks absolutely amazing, there's not a whole lot of action going on. I think one of the reasons is because a lot of the AI gets stuck down there. Now, this kind of breaks my heart, to be honest, because, again, it is so lifelike to its source material. It looks so cool. Yeah, this is a little bit glitchy. I don't know why this is. But look, here, the, the, the room in the south has two bongo riders. It even has the thing where, you know, the gateway that Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon, and Jar Jar go through. And it just, it looks, it looks incredible. But... In a sense, I guess, the map layout itself is too complicated for the AI to properly work it. You can see that they are trying to capture Command Post 1. Oh god, what in god's name? Oh. Well, don't do that, kids. I'm dying now. Let's actually see how far we can go. Oh. Okay, there you go. Let's actually spawn somewhere else and maybe spawn in control point one. So yeah, so you have one guy here, he tried to capture it, so they are trying their best to go and, you know, head towards the capture points. And only for maybe the first minute or so, you are surrounded by a lot of units. I mean, look at the uh, reinforcements counter as well. We are losing currently because they have more spawn points, but... Again, I'm walking through these hallways, and there's just no one there. And it's such a shame. Such a shame, because I'm not even kidding. Um, when I when I first saw, like, 
this map, I thought, oh my god, this needs to be on, like, my top ten uh, favorite games, or, or favorite maps. Because, again, I love it when, one, they try to recreate something, you know, more closely related to the movies, but two, also use, you know, create something entirely new with assets that are not even in the, in the actual game. I mean, it's, it's, it's incredible what they managed to do here. And it's such a shame that it's then turns out that it's not that well playable. I mean, listen, just looking at it is fun, is great. But again, at a certain point, you kind of want to do battles. Command post under attack. Our reinforcements are being depleted. Oh, God. And well, I got hit there. So, you know, you have one or two, you know, units walking around doing some stuff. But that's about it. I mean, this is also cool that you actually have these creatures down here. But look, all these dudes are now stuck here. Now they're all fighting at the bottom. For some reason, they not they cannot really get up here. Is it, is it a droid? This is again where I have to be kind of critical because my reviews do not only talk about the aesthetics but also about gameplay. Our reinforcements are being depleted. And so okay, so in the middle there so there's a bit of action going on. Let's 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 again check uh check over here. Oh yeah, there's water here. Look at that. Let's see if we can capture this. Oh. I guess one thing that sort of saves it is because it's so close quarter combat. If you like face one Droidica or something, you at least have a bit of decent action. Or should we get Festo? I'm not entirely sure what this glitchy thing is with his lightsaber. Oh, look at that, two droidicas. I mean, it's not like nothing's happening. Again, now that they captured a point here. But you gotta admit, there's a lot of nothing in between. Oh. Like, in in a sense, they actually need units there so that they can, can spawn in these hallways. Another command post for the Republic. Like, I really wonder what happens if I capture that other point there. It's so bittersweet, this map. <laughs> Again, the detail. This room is also very different. So this room descends. Is this the throne room? Is it? I would think that the throne would be uh, up there. Can I not capture this? <laughs> Maybe that's actually a. Oh no, I, wait, I can. That's really strange. You can only capture it at that specific area. I want to take a look at capture point seven. Another see what command post for the Republic. See what that is about. Oh no! Nope. 
It's so detailed. Alright, let's see this capture point seven. Okay, it's just up there. It's in a separate room though. Is this outside? Oh <gasps> that's incredible. Again, like you can even see other parts of the city outside as well. You know, you're fishies! <laughs> it makes me so sad. Oh, also, I cannot capture this again. What the hell? Why? We've lost control of a command post. Our reinforcements are being depleted. The fact that this was made during the days of Battlefront 1 is even more impressive. Look, you can even have fights up here. Tom Lover. This is definitely a map you need to play with uh, players. This is a map I, uh, I'm gonna label not well playable with AI. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. Hey, Grievous. My boy. There's also a lot of capture points to, you know, contest with. That's actually really fun. Again, the map itself is absolutely gorgeous. You know, a bit glitchy here and there. But to the point that it's so detailed and so, uh, incredibly vast that you take that for, uh, for granted. But look, this is what I'm talking about. All, mo suddenly, I'm facing like five or six units. And it's because they're all like, jump down here. There are definitely still units up there. You know, we saw me getting into multiple fights. But it's often only with one unit. You know, you can hope now that I killed a few here, so they hopefully will spawn up there. But you don't know. You don't know. The Republic can't spare any more reinforcements. And this is very boring. I have to say, fighting in that bottom area. Has been lost, but not the battle. The Republic can't spare any more reinforcements. Like it's in the. Yeah, this is the, tr the throne room, isn't it? You want to fight in this in, in these beautiful areas here, like you know from the movie. That guy's stuck there. I cannot get him. Huh. I mean, you can definitely... What are all those units doing in that command post up north? What in God's name? Hold on, we need to check that out. Are, are those all clones? Look at them! What are they doing? What is this? No wonder we're losing. Oh my god. Let them come. We are the Brave 300 and we will stand our ground. Mm, 
Yeah, shame. I will still recommend it for the Star Wars fan. Um, the map, but again, it's... Oh, and if you play this with multiplayer, that'll be cool. But if you're a gameplay person... You gotta think about if you want to play this, because it's not that well playable. There's nothing to do here. <laughs> and none of the clones are yeah, none of the clones are moving. So nothing's happening in terms of the thi like the thing like come on dude. Yeah, run. Run! Run! Yes! No! Yeah? No? Okay. Well, in that case... Uh... Oh. I have that stupid bug. I thought about killing him as Kid Fisto, but then I was like, well, what the f Can I really not switch? Is it because I'm near the thing? Okay. I don't know. I'm very curious about what other people have to say about this. I know it's a very beloved map in the community. And again, as I said, I think aesthetically and what it does, it is incredible. It's just with AI, it's it's bad. And not it's not necessarily the fault of like the map creator. Like the map creator like, you know, I guess the the Arma or Arma. The Battlefront AI cannot deal with this. Because why, you know, why would you say like okay I don't want to make a map as complex or complicated as I want? We had giant sprawling maps like Coruscant Modern Warfare that are very well playable with AI, so I don't know. Anyway guys, you can find the link to this map in the description down below. Don't forget to let me know requests or recommendations for maps or mods you want to see. And I'll see you guys next time.